Hey guys, Zeldascorn here, and today I have a follow-up of my previous video from, I don't know, two or three years ago uh, on how to connect your analog mixer to your computer. Um, this is actually on how to connect your analog mixer to a laptop now, which is basically the same principle of how to connect your uh, mixer to any computer or so. This is only if your mixer doesn't have any USB uh, audio interface you get a lot of noise of course uh, unless you buy something like this this is the Behringer UCAE control 222 which is a USB audio interface um, yeah I'll get to that in another video or so but basically right now we are going to connect this to my laptop so what you are going to need is Again, these adapters, which are very cheap at any electronic store. These are quarter-inch uh, jacks to uh, RCA. We need two of those or more if you need to connect a lot of more, a lot more instruments to the mixer. While well, we only have um, the microphone, which is a BM800 right here. So um, yeah, so let's get started. First things first, you want, and also, I have forgotten this, you need a RCA cable to 3.5 millimeter jack, which will connect this mixer to the laptop. So, first step, um, dial all volumes down, which is of course important. Number two, find your main out. So, for me, these are this two sockets here, and we plug in the quarter inch jacks adapters. I mean, so so we have um, RCA, and next get the cable. We will plug, of course, co uh, to the corresponding uh, colors R for red and L for white. Okay, this cable will then go into the laptop, but where? So, usually laptops have two um, ports there, which are always or usually headphone and microphone. So, as this doesn't have a line in, we will plug in the quarter, uh, the 3.5 millimeter jack to the mic input. So. Now we can plug in any other peripherals that we have. We have a DM800 here, uh, which is a condenser mic, which requires phantom power. This does have built-in plus 15 volts phantom power, which isn't a problem. Uh, this mic accepts 15 volts, uh, unless my Behringer C1 uh, only accepts for plus 48 volts. So, second step, as uh, the mic in has gain control we want to turn that off because our sound will be distorted if we turn it on so you go into windows i am running windows 10 by the way uh, and look for the sound icon right click and go to recording devices so we'll have this one here you will have microphone okay next step just double click on it and you will come to this window. Go to levels and turn off microphone boost. We don't want to have that because the sound will be distorted that's coming in and by turning that off the sound will actually be like, uh, sound like a line in. Um, there's no apply and I would turn off all enhancements as well. So. Disable all sound effects and go to advanced and uh, turn off also exclusive mode. And that's it actually. So click OK. But um, in order to have our levels right, I would set the level to about 70 or so. So it won't be at max volume. And hit OK and that's all you have to do. And then when you want to record, I use usually Adobe Audition for my DAW. You can also use, um, what do you call this? 
um, Audacity, which is actually free. I'll uh, put the link down below. Um, you'll have to set your main mix if you want to record, of course. You want to have your main mix always at zero, which is I usually recommend. Zero is in the middle, so uh, on some mixers it's a slider, so you'll have to look for the zero mark and put it there, which is actually the main mix is um, the vol the total volume that's going out of your mixer, which is going out through here to the laptop. So you want to have. Um, perfect level volume but in your recordings and always um, when you're gonna record check your levels I'll be next time doing um, oh sorry I'll do another video on how to connect uh, your mixer three different ways or more to the computer and uh, we'll be seeing more of this mixer this UCA control uh, 222 which is a sound card and my current mixer which is a Behringer Xenix uh, 102 uh, QX102 USB uh, a lot of cables there yeah which is a good mixer actually I really like it it has compressors I did an unboxing of this you can see right here so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this one if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you just like this give it a thumbs down don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next one peace hey guys Zelda's corn here and today I have a follow-up of my previous video from I don't know two or three years ago uh, on how to connect your analog mixer to your computer um, this is actually on how to connect your analog mixer to a laptop now which is basically the same principle of how to connect your uh, mixer to any computer or so. This is only if your mixer doesn't have any USB uh, audio interface. You get a lot of noise, of course, uh, unless you buy something like this. This is the